Hey guys, hope you're having a beautiful day. So I wanted to talk about Ecomi, Omni. Um, they're having a migration today, uh, a token migration. So it's gonna be basically from layer one to layer two. And I'm gonna make a video since the migration is happening as we speak. Um, some people might not have their tokens in an exchange that's gonna automatically do the swapping for you, right? For example, I have my tokens in Gate.io and I don't think they confirm to do the swap. So I'm gonna have to move it to the website that they created, which is this uh, Omni Token Swap Instructions. This, and they said this website is gonna be up, you know, indefinitely. So you don't have to worry that it's gonna go down or anything. But how do we how do we do this? Uh, well, first uh, I want to give two key points about this the reason they're going to go to level two right right now it's in level one the reason they're going to level two is because they want to make instant trades they want to make it more scalable and they want it to be gasless right when you mint you got to pay a ga gas fee so uh, with level two you're gonna it's basically going to be almost gasless which is going to be great for the development of e-commy and his business and what he's trying to do now um if you want to go back let's say you uh let's say omni goes to uh i don't know 30 cents right right now omni is at not even one cent it's a fraction of a cent if it goes to 30 cents and you want to sell right then you're gonna help go you're gonna have to go from level two back to level one because exchanges only handle level one. So that's a, a key point they mentioned here as well. Right here they say, if you want to trade your Omni tokens on exchanges, they will need to be migrated to level one Omni tokens. So just keep that in mind. Um, but if you wanna move your Omni token to the BV app or the Vev app, I don't know how you guys pronounce it, but. If you want to move it to the web app and you haven't done so yet then you're gonna to have to swap it to a, a layer 2 so then it could be moved to to the web app and you could store it there which is what I want to do I don't want to keep it in in gay IO if they didn't want to handle this swap then I, I just don't feel comfortable leaving it there uh, but uh, yes, let, let's see. How, how do we do that? How do we do that? Well, they do have an instruction article here. This came out January 11, and I'm gonna put the links to this article in the description. Uh, just be careful of different scams out there. Uh, they actually mention it here: be wary of scams or any service offering to swap your token for you. So make sure you do it yourself. Don't pay people to do it for you. All right. So here they have instructions on, on what you have to do. And I know everybody's case is going to be different. For this specific video, I'm going to go from an exchange, which is a gay IO, into uh, I'm going to try to swap it uh, to the layer two Omni. Now, if you're using like some type of private wallet of sorts, then uh, you know. Uh, well, well, we'll take a look. Let's let's begin doing this. All right, so how do I swap my Omni token? So let's let's work on this. First, you're gonna have to go to the swap website they created, which is chainswap.ecomi.com. I'm gonna put this also in the uh, description. So this is what the website looks like here. And you're gonna need to download the MetaMask, right? If you don't have one, if you do, you could connect to it. But you're gonna need to download. Let me see if I try to connect. I already have one, so I could probably connect to it. Um, but I'm gonna leave that for another step. Okay, whatever. So just download it, just click here. And you'll see the install MetaMask for Chrome here. You click on it and you set it up. <clears throat> we go to the next step here. First step right there. Now you wanna install it, which we already talked about. Second one is to add GoChain and Omni to MetaMask. Now when they say GoChain, they, they're talking about the network. So you see here it says add GoChain as a custom network using these instructions. So once you set up your MetaMask, uh, it's going to look something like this. 
Wait, and I, and I already sent twenty five dollars worth of Ethereum just in case. Um, the way I did this, I just went to Coinbase and I sent it right. But uh, let's go up here. It's gonna say Ethereum mainnet. Let's go up there and let's click on it. It says add network down here. Let's add the network. And um, if we go back to the article, it says here. Uh, let me put this closer to the article here. It says using this instruction. So they give you instructions on, on how to do that. Let me go back. Let me open this on the. On the okay. So how do we add this go chain? It says that it's easy to do. You just need to add a custom R RPC. Okay. Custom RPC. I didn't see that. It just says add network. Uh, network name is going to be GoChain. Okay, let's do that. Let's just fill it up. Uh, new RPC URL is going to be this. Okay. Um, symbol is going to be Go. Alright. Um, symbol optional. So I'm guessing it's this one. And uh, chain ID is going to be Sysd. So let's do that. And what else we got? Block Explorer URL. Do we still need to put that in here? Yep. Okay, so we're going to put that in there as well. Block Explorer URL. That. Then it says here. Okay, that's it. We just got to click save. Once we got network name, go chain, new RPC URL, this chain ID SSD, currency go, and the uh, block explorer URL is this. Save. Alright, so now we got this go. Um, network. So now we have the Ethereum network and we got the go network. Okay. So now let's go back to the article. Ensure you have selected the go network by selecting it. Under assets, select import token. Okay, so let's go back here. We have the go network selected. We go under assets, we've got the import tokens down here. I'm gonna click on that and now let's see what else it says here let me take this out because we already did it it says here select custom okay we did that enter the go chain omni contract so we're gonna enter this contract in there okay and okay fill that up omni and 18 the details for the token should be pre-filled with the name omni and decimal 18 okay that's what i did add token Add token there we go there's the token okay now it says send a small test amount so let's try it let's test this out um, import token okay uh, now how do we send uh, a small test amount here so how do I send that let me, let me try to figure this out guys all right guys so I was able to figure this out so your address is actually up here as you can see up here it says account well you copy that and then you go to in my case it will be gay io right you go here and make sure you select go chain you paste your address right here right and then you want to Set select the amount in this case minimum is 300 uh 270 i put 300 but as you can see the fee is 270 so what you're gonna get back is about 30 right 270 minus 300 is 30 you're gonna get 30 omni back and then you put your fund password um whatever you you created your you you, you click here send email code it'll send you the email code you type it in if you're using the Google Authenticator, you also have to type it in, you submit a request. And about a couple minutes later, you should be able to see your 30 Omni on your uh, wallet. So that part worked. I got 30 Omni in here. Uh, let's see if I could send uh, all my Omni to, to this MetaMask. So I'm going to do this again. Give me a second, guys. All right, so as you can see here, now I have all my Omni in my MetaMask, 122,000 Omni. It's in here, so basically I went from um, Gay.io 
to MetaMask. Um, okay, now let's see what the next. I still have a couple Omni here, but I'm gonna leave it to see if maybe I have to buy some gold tokens. I don't know if it's gonna be needed if I need to get some gold tokens, but but we'll continue with the steps here. So it says the next step is to add Ethereum Omni to MetaMask. So in order to receive view your Ethereum Omni on MetaMask, you will need to add the new Ethereum Omni contract. So it looks like we're going to be adding another one. Open MetaMask and ensure, ensure you are on the Ethereum mainnet. Okay, so right now we're in the Go, Go chain. We're going to go to Ethereum mainnet. Okay. And under the assets, import token and select the custom. Okay, assets, import token right here. Select custom right here. Enter that address. Okay, Omni 18, Omni 18, confirm the details. You should now see Omni, okay, that's good. Add token, okay, import token. Okay, very good. You should now see Omni, I do. Connect MetaMask to the chain swap site. Okay, there's a warning here. The chain swap site will not be live until the last week of January. We're in January 27 right now. And this is the one, so I'm guessing it's live right now. Once you're ready to swap your token and have both Go and Ethereum tokens in your MetaMask for gas, you can continue with the token swap process. Now, I don't have Go, so I'm going to have to figure out how to get that first. So, uh, let me see if I can maybe buy some of it here. Uh, let's go to markets. Let's go for trading. Let me do a refresh first. Because I was trading it for some. Okay. Okay, give me a second, guys. I'm going to figure this out. Up Ethereum to USDT. Okay. So we're going to go. Um, we're going to sell this Ethereum so we could get USDT. And we're going to do. All the Ethereum we have, I only have like about seven bucks. And let's see if this goes through. Yeah. Okay, the order was filled. So now, if I do go, I wonder if they have USDT. Okay, they do. Okay, so now, um, what I'm going to do, since I have some USDT, I'm going to buy some go with it. There it is. I should get that amount. Hopefully it works. Order placed. See if it gets filled. I just want to get some go so I could proceed. Let's go to my orders over here. Ah, it looks like it was already. Yeah, it looks like it was already completed. Let me see. Okay. Spot account. I do have some go now. I have some go available. So withdraw that go. And I want to transfer it. Let me go back to my MetaMask. Um, let me go back to my Go chain. Okay, here. I'm gonna copy the address. It's up here. And I'm gonna do that that transfer right now. Go. Uh, go address. What's the minimum? 100. Okay, I'm gonna try that out. Give me a second guys, I'm gonna pause the video here. Alright, so as you can see, I was able to do it. So now I have 50 go in this uh, MetaMask wallet. So I think that should be more than enough because they said that one go is enough. So I have 50 here. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just transfer the rest because what I'm gonna do with it in... in Gay.io. But uh, yeah, you know what? Uh, yeah, let me transfer the rest. All right, so I got the rest of my goal here. So again, if we go to the networks here, Ethereum network, I have my Ethereum and I have my new Omni. And I also have here, if I go to the chain, Go chain, I have my Go and I have the level one Omni right here. Okay, so again, in Ethereum network, you have the level two Omni. In the Go Chain Network, you have the 
level one Omni. Okay, so now let's go to the steps here. It says here the swap site will automatically populate the account. So actually let's start from connect to MetaMask to the chain swap site. So this is the, the site, so we're gonna hit connect to MetaMask. Okay, it's doing a connection here. We're gonna click next. Uh, be the address of your permitted accounts. Okay, connect. <clears throat> okay, very good. So um, we're here. So let's see what else we gotta do. It will automatically populate the account address you are currently using. If you wish to use a different address, switch the account you are using in MetaMask and confirm it is correct on the swap site. Please be aware you will need Ethereum at whichever address you wish to receive your Omni token. Okay, now it says to begin, make sure you are connected to the GoChain network. Networks can be switched within MetaMask. Okay, so let me connect to the GoChain network then. All right. Go chain, you could you could test that up here. It says, it says go chain network now. Okay, very good. You will notice that the swap direction you can see in go chain omni Ethereum. You will notice that the swap direction you see is go omni to Ethereum. And additional instructions are available on the swap site. Okay. So here you else it says it should say balance that to Ethereum. And then this is the instructions. So see it says here, let me zoom in. Trying to swap Ethereum to Ethereum Omni. Change MetaMask to the Ethereum network first. If you are ready to get started, fill out and swap. Submit the following the swap form. After submitting, you will be asked to sign two transactions. Proof the swap contract to your Go. Initiate the swap in the swap contract. Mm -hmm. Ethereum, Ethereum Omni will be distributed to your account after 50 block confirmations. Okay. So. <clears throat> it says here. All right, all right, all right. Let me just get this straight. I'm trying to get Ethereum and Omni, right? But we have Go Omni. So I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna put two thousand. And I'm gonna swap go up me to this Ethereum address. Swap. Continue. Okay. Estimated gas fee is gonna be that many go. Confirm. Waiting for increased allowance. Go Omni to Ethereum Omni swap in progress. Okay, so th this this should be how it is then. So you make sure to set your network to Go Chain, and then when you when you're here, it should it should say go chain mainnet as well and then you can do the swap and then it says here the max fee estimated gas okay confirm that's fine it's doing two confirmations i think it's gonna do a couple maybe three. Oh, two sign transactions so it's gonna do two okay waiting for the swap let's see let's see let's see know how long this might take so I might have to uh, pause the video oh, submitting so for 2000 go okay I submitted it ok 
pay. The solution funding needed. Please change network to Ethereum to continue. Okay, so I sh waiting for pay for fee payment. Okay, so I'm gonna change it back to this. Okay, insufficient fund to pay the zero that two Ethereum distribution fee. Wow. Okay then. Um, something went wrong with my payment fee. So you know what? I think I might have to distribute more Ethereum to this wallet. So let me do that now. Let me go to my Coinbase. All right. So I was able to send more Ethereum. Let's see. Um, okay. Requesting to send. Insufficient funds. Still. Um. Estimated gas fees forty three dollars. That's insane. Total one hundred thirteen dollars. Wow, yeah, I don't have that much fun. Let me see. Um, can I do a low? No? Advanced options here. You know what? This is expensive. Edit. Wow, the high one is only... Okay. Okay, this is you got you got to definitely need to have some Ethereum. Like I'm talking, a hundred plus in there. Okay, I still have insufficient funds. I don't have enough, so I'm gonna have to buy more. Let me do that. Let me buy some more. All right, so now I have two hundred thirty-one Ethereum worth, two hundred thirty-one dollars. Worth of Ethereum. So let's try this again. Pay fee. Should go through now. I mean, confirm. It's a hundred and five dollars. Waiting for fee payment. It's crazy. Okay, it's doing its thing. I gotta make sure this works before I uh, send the big, big cash. But I'm probably gonna have to pay about a hundred bucks again. It's crazy, but that's okay. Fee successfully paid. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now. All right. Waiting for distribution. Alrighty. I don't know how long that's gonna take. We'll see. Alright, guys, so I'm back and it looks like I completed 2000. I received 2000 Ethereum Omni for 2000 Go Omni. So if I go to my MetaMask and I switch the network to Ethereum mainnet, it should be. Uh, already in Ethereum mainnet, but in case it's not, just switch it back, and you should see your amount here. I sent 2,000 as a test. Now I'm gonna send the rest over. But yeah, I hope this video helped you out. Um, definitely a lot of back and forth. This video is probably gonna be 30 minutes long, but uh, you know what? If you need the help, I think this video might help you out. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like the content, please like, share, and subscribe. And maybe in the future I'll make another video describing how you could go from level 2 back to level 1. Because like I said before, right, you're going to need to uh, be back to level 1 in order for you to use it in exchanges if you want to sell it, for example. But yeah, that's for another video in the future. Alright guys, that is it for this video. Stay safe out there. Peace.